The idea of eating and then having a break was not bad actually. But now we are both struggling. Then we were discussing that the opening hole is too small. Is too small. Uh, I just wanted to... <laughs> I had to laugh so much now because... Wait, wait! I want to show my friends here something. Now look what happens if you don't go out hiking when you're even younger. Because if you not start younger... Go on, walk! Look at his legs, his legs. they're really shivering. <laughs> Poor guy. I shouldn't laugh because I'm suffering too. Guys, we're in the sun again. So I think we made it. So we're up now on 1,900 meters. And uh, maybe you can see up there, there's snow up there. And down here, a nice a river from before. I think now we made it. I think it's only gonna be this part over here. I hope you couldn't see because of the sun. the quick drone shot that you can see where we are. Now comes the time we have to just find a place to sleep. And as I know Yari, you will not stop until I don't know where. That's how it is. Physically I'm okay. My legs are hurting, my hips are hurting a bit. Shoulders, but uh, unless that it's okay. I guess I'll feel it tomorrow a bit more. So a quick break, just a quick one. Having a smoke. And while we are contemplating the location for the night. So, yeah, no. <laughs> so the plan is we don't really know the plan yet. <laughs> Oops. So we have maybe so another thing in this house nobody's in there of course. How? So maybe in the woods in the back, that's one option. Maybe over there. Oh, you can't imagine how nice it is to walk without a backpack. So I'm on a scouting mission now quickly. Because uh yeah, the sun is quite far down already and now we need to really find a place to sleep. So the idea is now maybe back here somewhere, somewhere in here in the woods there. There's a pass where, which goes to a lake, a small lake, and we wanted to try maybe back there, I guess. The problem is there's the way, as you maybe can just see the people walking there. Down here would be nice, but we have no trees to set up the tarp because there are some places which are nice and even and without rocks. So, and the other problem we have I think now, which I can see, is we don't have wood. At least we have to go and walk around to find some. Okay, we're still looking, I'm still running in circles. We're still looking for a place and now the arguing is going starting because he is like not happy with what I'm proposing and I'm not happy with what he's proposing. That's the, the downside but still it's always good. We always find a place. It's just that slowly we won't have light and then it's going to be more difficult. Data update, 4.30 and we still haven't got a place, but actually we just now decided we have to take it. We, we want to try to like hide a bit at least, but there's no, no really good place. So we're just going to go, oops, have to turn over there. So my plan is to sleep here, I'll take these small rocks away and I put my top between this and that small stick over there.
they just don't have fire in there. You know, we like a bonfire. <laughs> yeah, fire devil. To get us through the night. So my friends, now at last, <laughs> after all those hours of hiking and pain, well I'm still in pain actually, we are having now a nice tea and a coffee and just chilling here on the fire, built me a bench and whenever I get up, everything is painful. So it's better that I just lie down and lie still here. And we're relaxing, having nice chats and soon we will start doing something to eat. Not sure if you can see me, but I'm just doing a quick lying test. <laughs> it's just going to be really cold, I think. And uh, we will see because everything is open here in the front and in the back too. And it is uh, already so cold that uh, there's slightly ice on top of the tarp. We will see. We will see. We actually currently discussing our concerns for the night or at least I am discussing and, and Yara is listening so my my problem actually always is when I'm sleeping outside is that I don't sleep not very well I don't know I just can't get used to sleeping in a sleeping bag I just feel like like I don't know just too tight I can't move and I, I don't like that because I always move when I sleep I bought the defense the Carinthia defense 4 it is a bit broader but still yeah I still have problems then a very, very important topic <laughs> is you saw my top set up so it's very uh, low. low and once I'm in my cozy nice sleeping bag and He's going to warm it up with some uh, <laughs> fresh cheese from inside. And I need to go to the toilet and that could happen as it always happens. So what I do, and that was my discussion point, <laughs> I'm going to take a, a, a water bottle into my tent, well tent, in my, into my sleeping setup. Then we were discussing that the opening hole too small. is too small. So oh, we will find something. Anyway, why I don't want to get up is that as you can as I just said the top is too low and when I get out of my sleeping bag in my t-shirt I will maybe hit the ceiling, the of, the ceiling top, of, the the of the top yeah the inside of the top and that's gonna be all wet so when I go out it's cold wet so that's our discussion point see these are the things you discuss when you're outside sitting on the fire my dinner is finished <laughs> and doesn't this look delicious? <laughs> Pile of shit. I know how it is to eat in the five-star restaurant, but you have to compromise sometimes, you know? You can't have everything. But, yeah, never mind. I'm just going to eat it. <laughs> it's something to eat. It's going to warm my butt. And, uh, yeah, let's try this stuff. I guess it's very hot stuff. There you go. Well, next time I think I'm going to cook again. My friend, I think he should make a cooking channel. <laughs> He's always cooking something nice, which is cool too. It uh, requires a little bit of preparation. Yes. You know, just a bit of the day before. That's it. I'm just too lazy for these things. That's so guys, I'm tired. It was a hard day today. I'm really exhausted. <clears throat> I'm feeling a bit cold. That's why I'm trying to go to sleep now. So. Hopefully it will be okay. Good night and see you tomorrow. Good morning in the morning. Oh, I can tell you guys. It's, yeah, yeah. Look at us. Yeah. This oh. setup, never again. It was not cold, but oh, wet. Even my feet were warm and yeah. nice. I had actually had my trousers off, yeah. my socks off, yeah, and it wasn't cold, but yeah. I had to pee. And do you think I got out of this thing? I had a bottle once, and then once I had to get out, and the top was all icy, as you can still see. And every time I touched the top from inside with my t-shirt or anything, soaking wet. So I just wanted to make a coffee, and then that's what I see. It was so cold tonight. Yeah. It must minus. be minus something, I guess. Minus three in one instant coffee with little hazelnut. Water almost burning. 
So, coffee's in. Of course, I have my fork with me. <laughs> my oh, time. I'm gonna do a special mix. I think I'm gonna. Let me look at this. Crazy. Mm. I always. Would you sleep on uh, top of a mountain like where we have no fire and so on? I don't know. So we have uh, packed everything now. Everything is clear again, as it was before. All the rubbish we took with us, so nothing is left behind. Starting walking down, and I think we are too lazy to make a breakfast, and I think we learned from yesterday that when we eat something that it's even worse to walk down more. Well, up is actually more difficult. Yesterday we need more blood, but yeah, still, if we're yeah. not dying of hunger, we are not gonna stop. Exactly. So we're just discussing that we have to be careful on certain points. So this is also to remind you guys to always be careful about what you do. Yes, I'm walking now with the camera, but I'm looking also down uh, on the pass. So always be cautious, walk slowly, and don't make any stupid uh, things just because you think you are, I don't know, still young or whatever. We arrived at this, uh, that's the more dangerous part. So we really have to now try to focus and concentrate again, as uh, at least I am tired. I mean, I'm okay, but these are the these are the moments where things happen. So this way we're going, and now I will not film anymore to be focused. Oh. Back at the waterfall, we're thinking about a coffee or not, but I think no. Hey guys, I don't know what happened. Uh, I'm running down this hill and I have almost, I'm not saying I have no pain, almost no pain. So it seems like the more you do it, the better your body reacts to it and builds up muscles on those places where you never use. So it really seems like uh, I'm feeling like 20 again. back in the woods and the guys I must say I really see a huge progress of last hikes we went down now 650 meters in altitude and I, I never walked so fast down there I don't understand how I could do it I did not have any pain I did not say like oh I don't want to walk anymore or something like that <laughs> as I usually do I can really tell you the more you do it the fitter you get and I don't know if I ever mentioned, but my meniscus on the left side is ripped. And the doctor said, as long as it's not hurting, he will not operate. So just as you see, or what is doable. So slowly we're gonna be arriving at the car again. And I'll say some finishing words there. So everyone, I'm doing this with my new drone, I hope it works with the microphone, it's just with the mobile phone so it won't be the best. I walk around here a bit so you can see the rest of the last pictures of where we started. And uh, I can just say it was a really great, great hike. As you can see I'm still <laughs> okay, don't know why. Um, I really want to emphasize, do it yourself, try it yourself. I hope you liked the view, I hope you liked the pictures of what we showed you and if you liked it, check out my other videos, I'm going to do this quite frequently, hope you enjoyed and bye bye.